Here's a question that I ask myself. Why are they not telling us about crazy government experiments like MKUltra? That's a popular one that people, a lot of people know about. But what you may not know about things like MKUltra, right? Essentially, they had a term called depatterning. So in MKUltra, they would take people and a lot of times they would like straight up like abduct people that had psychological problems. They'd basically put them in like sensory deprivation chamber types of things. They'd put them on drugs that would make them go to sleep for like two, three weeks. They'd feed them through a tube. They'd monitor their weight, all that stuff. But what they were doing was trying, and then they were running subliminal messages and hypnosis and suggesting things, waking them up, putting them into hypnosis, all these things, electrical shock therapy. They were trying to erase their personality entirely so they literally forgot everything. And there's stories about people that survive that end up remembering some of it where they literally forgot how to even eat in cases where they really damage people. But they were trying to erase people's memories, identities, and personalities and then reprogram them the way that they wanted them to be. And they had a term for it called depatterning. So in depatterning, in, in, in this one particular document, it says that she's on her second round of depatterning. And what they're, it's crazy. What they're talking about is literally she's on her second round of them erasing her entire identity. And you know, the, even the History Channel covers MK Ultra and things like that. But the crazy thing about it is they don't go into any depth of the psychological ramifications of it. Like people, they'll be like, this is horrible and horrific, and this is a major government overreach. And yeah, sure, maybe it is, whatever. But what fascinates me isn't that. What fascinates me is the fact that the government was trying to erase people's identities and then reprogram them, which goes along with everything that I say on this channel and I believe, which is all you really are is an operating system. You're a computer program that has a programmed identity that you believe is who you are, but all it really is is a memorized pattern of thoughts, behaviors, habits, and feelings that are memorized into your nervous system and your cells and your neurological structure of your brain that control your emotional state. But all your emotional state is, is emotion, is energy in motion. It's your, it's your emotional, it's your frequency pattern, your energy pattern, because all you are is just a field of, of energy. You're a frequency pattern. So your emotional state is your pattern of energy that's been programmed and memorized by the world. So then you go, all right, here's the crazy thing about something like MKUltra is it's that the, it's not the studies themselves. It's that the same findings that they were studying, can you literally program an entire person just like a computer software ups and make it do anything you wanted it to do? And they found out, yes, they could. But what's crazy about it is at the society is one massive MKUltra experiment. That's what it actually is. But instead, they have all these other ways that they manipulate people's brainwave states and get them into a brainwave state akin to hypnosis. That's why they talk, all the television people talk on the same wavelengths and frequency patterns. Uh, that's what all the different lights and all the light waves that come out of televisions and from phones, it's all to get you in a hypnotic state, the algorithms, and then we have all of our other chemicals and socially acceptable ways that you can basically program yourself. And this whole thing is a massive MK Ultra experiment. And you and I are patients of it. And so I go, why aren't they telling us this? Because this is when I woke up. It was freshman year of college. I learned all this like crazy stuff about, you know, you go on and on and on. But just particularly what fascinated me was government and military experiments, not just in America, Soviet Union, many other places, where what they were doing was figuring out how to actually pattern and program an individual entirely. And what fascinated me about it is because then I said, well, couldn't I use these same techniques and tools to literally become anybody that I want, create my own reality? So I decided to drop out, backpack around the world, write a book, no one would publish it. I sold the first 20,000 copies out of the trunk of my car. That gave me a book deal with Penguin Random House, the number one English publishing company in the world. Then all my YouTube channels took off and like all these things started happening like crazy not because of any other reason that I learned all this declassified stuff and I started hypnotizing myself and I started program, programming myself instead of being programmed by the world.
I always say brainwash yourself before the world brainwashes you. So if you're still with me on this video, make sure you hit the like button right over there. Give me a comment down below that says brainwash yourself before the world brainwashes you. Okay, so if we're all one giant MK Ultra experiment, here's five things that are important. So the first one is don't let your outside circumstances mind control you, right? We can be like, oh yeah, the government's mind controlling us. But actually we're all mind controlling ourselves by submitting our own free will to our outside circumstances. So don't let your outside circumstances control you. Here's a question. Does your thinking control your bank account? or does your bank account control your thinking? Because your bank account's just a bunch of light photons. And if that controls your thinking, then your thinking's always gonna be stuck at the present circumstances, which means your present circumstances are literally mind controlling you. Number two, use your imagination to create new energy and motion. Emotion is energy in motion. So when we use our imagination, because your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not real. Your brain does not know the difference between what's real and what's not real. So if you can conjure up and build your own imagination by detaching, disassociating from your five senses and your fake identity that the government was trying to de-pattern in MK Ultra. if you totally disassociate from it and you attach to imagination, like John Keats, John Keats once said, that everything that is now real was once imagined. And it was said another way, by passionately believing in what does not yet exist, you create it. By building the picture in your mind and creating your own freedom and sovereignty and seeing what you look like and your life looks like and feeling that is just as real as the outside circumstances. It's all just energy. And when you attach to the powers and the images in your imagination, that's what materializes them in third dimension. Number three, suspend your disbelief. Just like you go to a movie and you suspend your belief and it allows you to get emotionally involved in this film that feels real on a, on a little uh, roller coaster for 90 minutes, suspend your disbelief about who you thought you were. I'm not even asking you to believe me. You don't have to believe me. All I'm asking you to do is test the power of consciousness in your own life. Set some small intentions, little things. See if there's certain little things that you can manifest and attract into your life through synchronicity. All I'm asking you to do is suspend your disbelief for the for the next 30 days and see if you can start to shift your outer reality by shifting your inner consciousness and your innermost perceptions. One of the ways I recommend doing that is my free success hypnosis, which is right there down below in the description. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below for free. Number four, do not believe your senses. Your senses are quite simply picking up a very small bandwidth of energy called visible light. But there's a bunch of energy that you cannot see. There's a bunch happening that you cannot see. Energy is never created or destroyed. That's what science tells us. So if energy is never created or destroyed, that means all the energy that ever was and ever will be, all the possibilities, everything you can imagine, your future, it already exists because energy is never created or destroyed. But when you get attached to your five senses, you trap your creative power in a reactive state of consciousness. Take a deep breath, detach from your five senses, and repeat this phrase, lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it's an evidence of lack. Lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. So basically what I'm saying here is all of us are under mind control and to believe that you're not under mind control is to actually act exactly as a symptom of somebody who's under mind control because you don't realize you're under mind control. We all are. The question is just, are you brainwashing yourself or is the world brainwashing you? Has the cultural engineers, has, has your upbringing, has society, has your past been the thing that's brainwashed you or have you consciously using your own free will brainwashed yourself 
And when we start to look at all of reality, like this giant MK Ultra experiment, you realize, oh my gosh, you do create reality. And that's why Steve Jobs says the world was built by people no smarter than you. When you realize it, you can mold it, shape it, and change it however you want. Mold shape and change because all of that reality is energy it's malleable it's changeable it's susceptible to consciousness that's what quantum physics is all about that your perception creates reality down to the subatomic level and so the question is instead of oh man this is just the way it is the question is what do you want to create what can you create for yourself you don't have to believe me just do a thought experiment for the next 30 60 90 days and see how much you can radically shift your life in your world in just 90 days. Set an experiment like that for yourself. Be sure you check out my free success hypnosis, jakeshypnosis.com in the description and pinned to the comments right there down below. Hit the like button on this video. Give me a comment down below if you enjoyed it. See you next time.